it's Savannah O'Gwen from Savannah Land too. Today I'd like to show you how to make the Encore Ultimate Metallic Inks a bit softer. This is an easy project and really makes your metallic inks go further. Not only are these inks bold and beautiful, but now you can make them softer and more like a watercolor look. There are three different ways I've softened these metallic inks and all use the same supplies, which include your Encore Ultimate Metallic Inks, as well as ink potion number nine. First up is this card. This is a sweet soft look of this metallic ink. All I did was prepare my watercolor paper by tearing the edges and then spritzing it with just a few sprays of ink potion number nine. I call this the little spritz way. <laughs> so all you do is you take your ink potion number nine and I would hold it above your paper about five inches and then just spray a couple of times. It's a light mist. Now if you think you've got too much um, potion on your paper, just rub it with your finger or just let it dry a little bit. Then all you do is ink up your image and stamp it right on that misted area. And it will bleed out as time goes on. Now you can also add a bit of a small spritz on top and it'll bleed out further and faster. Now there's another way you can create this little spritz design and all you want to do is stamp your image first. Stamp it right on your paper and then you're going to take your ink potion number nine and unscrew the bottle and then drop your ink potion all over your image. And this will give you more control over where it bleeds and where you have that soft glow. So next up is the soft look called lots of spritz. <laughs> I know that's not really unique, but all you want to do is prepare your paper the same way and then spritz your paper with several sprays of your ink potion number nine. Now we want to ink up our image and stamp it right into that puddle of ink potion number nine. You will see that the ink is pulled out quickly and it shows a light glow around your image. Now you can also see that the metallic inks are pooling, so you can take your baby wipe and just control where that goes. Now if you feel like the center of your um, flower has, um, the ink has been pulled too much, there is another way to do this. You can double stamp your image, so let your ink dry and then ink up your image again and stamp it right over that previous stamped image. You will still have that soft glow but also have a bold center design. And finally you can go one step further and use the lots of spritz technique as well as a water brush. Now I have actually filled my water brush with more ink potion number nine. It's so much better than water. <laughs> so to do this design that I have on this card, all you're gonna do is spray your paper with lots of potion and you're gonna follow the lots of spritz design. So we're gonna spray it with lots of potion. We're gonna ink up our stamp image. We're gonna stamp it into this misted area. And then once we remove our stamp, we're going to begin to move the mixture around with our water brush. And we're just going to lighten it up on the edges. And you can remove some with a baby wipe if you'd like. You can add more by squeezing your water brush if you'd like. Sometimes you can even go over the entire image with your brush to make it a softer image as well. The great thing about all of these techniques is that the metallic ink still shines and is super pretty. So to finish up your card, all you want to do is add your sediment using some vellum or stamp it right on your card using another Encore Ultimate Metallic Ink. For all of my cards, I've used the Ultimate Metallic Champagne. Now I love this super easy technique. It's perfect for a sympathy or thinking of you card. And it's a great technique to create a set of cards because each time your design will look different. Now before I go, I want to share a quick tip with you. When you get your metallic inks, there will be a little sticker on the packaging indicating the ink color. 
I like to save this and actually place it right on my ink cover. It's a little tip from me to you. <laughs> For more project ideas using Encore Ultimate Metallic Inks, check out Imagine Crafts on Facebook, Pinterest, the Imagine Crafts blog, and at ImagineCrafts.com. Thanks so much for watching.